What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 13 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. Uh, we are returning to the uh, Let's Play portion of this, but uh, we have to backtrack just a little bit here uh, on this Tauros, and it's, it's really fun riding around on this Tauros. I don't know what it is. I know it's pretty much the same as riding a bike, but something feels really visceral about it, and um, uh, I'm just... What I want to do here is complete all of the side quests that we have ready to turn in. So we have to turn in the Drift Loon here. So she's going to give us, uh, what? 10,000 Pokey, and that's quite a lot. And then we also need to turn in the Rock Rough. Uh, the Rock Rough quest. So we'll get on the Tauros. We'll go for a little run here. See, look at it, it just... Now, this isn't really functionally any different than being on a bike and holding holding down the button to, to bike really quickly, but it something about it feels different, and I really like the control, the control of it. And I guess I really... I guess I do... I'm a huge fan of the fact that they're incorporating... A Pokemon as part of the transportation because you know you have so many you have so many Pokemon in the game that could very easily be rideable Pokemon mounts and, and they just do a bicycle instead so. so this guy's just talking about rock rough he was really interested in seeing one what do you got to give me 3,000 so not all that much but still good so now we can head back over. That didn't take too long. Two minutes or so. We can head back down. Oh. Oops. I mean, that was an accident, but... <laughs> I totally did not realize that there are rocks here that can be... That can be destroyed. This is cool. Uh, how do I get to that? I gotta cut through here. Hop on down. What's this sign say? If you have Taurus smash any boulders in your way, you may be able to reach new areas. Uh, they're talking about the 10 carat hill, which I'm already familiar with. Uh, we get a nugget, so a little extra cash. That's funny, I thought this was a secret that I, I had completely missed, but they're talking about going to 10 carat hill, which wasn't really a secret at all uh, but I'm gonna pop a repel here because I don't want to I don't want to mess around too much with catching extra fights in route one but I also want to remove some of the items that I used in the in the match I just had in the last game so held item let's take that held item let's take that held item let's take that you got a quick claw. I'll leave the quick claw on Gambit. Leave the silver powder on you. Everything else is coming up nicely. So we're gonna put Lil P back in the lead here. Lil P has been out of the game for a while. We can keep going this way, and just pops us right back down onto this road on Route One. Uh, one thing I want to do, following that last battle, I just got to tell you, Diglett is so weak. It is just embarrassing how weak he is. So I got to get him off the team. Um, he was fun-ish to have for a while. Uh, but I think... You know, for now, we'll just leave it blank. I guess we could put Rock Rough on there. We'll try and get a Rock Ruff evolution out. I I'm also going to drop Machop because... And I'm actually also going to drop Gambit. For now, I really want to keep unique Pokemon that are new to uh, new to Sun and Moon on here. And kind of experience experience the game a little more that way. If I find someone that I'm, I'm really, you know, fond of from previous generations, of course I'll use them. Um, but for now, I think... Now I think it's best to do it this way. 
I really wanted to bring my Alakazam in the battle that we had uh, with Stevie Z in the last episode, but unfortunately he doesn't have any attacking moves and doesn't get any until level 24 or something kind of ridiculous like that. Which is disappointing, but... But also not so disappointing. So let's see, let's go down here. Trigger a flagged event on the Rotom decks. Little sailboat, old Patchy McGee, old Faithful. You sure this old thing is seaworthy? He's calling his boat old, and Kukui's trying to say that she's a classic, well seasoned. Nebby's trying to escape from his eternal cage. Uh, we're gonna say yes. So we're gonna be we're done with uh, melee melee here. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. On the open seas here. Kick it up a notch. She's worried that we're going to sink. You can still see land. It couldn't be that far of a swim. What kind of island Akala is. So that's going to be the next one we're going to. Akala. Lily's too worried about everything. Frustrating little girl. Where's my purple water? I need purple water. So island one down. We're on to Akala Island. And things are going to start moving a little more smoothly now. Battles at the beginning of the game take a long time. Usually multiple turns to take out Pokemon. As you start getting to... Getting better move pools, being able to play around Pokemon better, you have a lot more super effective attacks to work with. It's not so much normal versus normal, just bashing each other in the head. Land ahoy. How likes me. I say nice things to How. <laughs> what about you, Professor? The land certainly is a hoy, oh boy. <laughs> well, Nebby thought it was funny, and they're all laughing. Ooh, a mysterious voice says, Still haven't managed to find a shirt that goes with your lab coat? Hmm, Kukui? Is that a girl? The way that she says, hmm. Told you you're gonna stray off stra scare off strangers looking like that. Nebby, back into the bag, quick. Don't sweat it, Lily, he says. Must be a friend. It's Olivia. Why, hello there. Nice to meet you all. I'm Olivia. That's how she sounds. And Mallow. You guys ever play Legend of... Z oh, no, not Legend. Uh, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. There's a character named Mallow in that, too. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm Mallow, one of the captains here. I was on my way to see who was pulling into port and ran into Mallow here. While she was out on a delivery. Why are the two of you... Are you both capt or chiefs, or... Yep, my trial will be a chance for all the fine ingredients to make your team shine, or something like that. Your Pokemon look ready to cook with gas. I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, so we're just kind of going through here. This is a lot of... People just introducing us to the new island, and they're saying that they're going to challenge us when we're ready, or something. That's what I got so far, at least. They're waving. She has green hair and green eyes, wearing green shoes to match. And she's waving with her hand up here, when I'm like two steps away, like, Hey, guys! Guys!
That's Olivia for you. She's a kind kahuna deep down. Okay, so the kahuna battle will be Olivia. The captain battle will be Mallow. And there's three trials. You decide you want to take on the trial straight away, head up to Route 4 and keep on going until you reach town. It's going to go straight to the Pokemon Center. I wonder what kind of malasada they make on Akala, huh? So Hao wants food. Lily wants to shop. And wants to go to the ruins. And uh, Mr. Rotom says, Whole new island. Keep me up to date on the Pokemon I need to uncover. So let's have a look around here. Fairy terminal. So I don't need to go in there. Alola. Alola, friend. Wait. The lower your opponent's level is compared to your Pokemon, the less EXP your Pokemon will get from defeating it. They finally changed that. That's good to know. That's a, that's a true statement. If you don't know what to hold, Citrus Berry is always fair. Just a little bit higher max HP, basically. Chrome Dome. That's a great nickname. Ooh, the Name Raider. Okay, so we've got a, a key figure here, guys. Name Raider. Akala Island. Uh, no, I don't want you to rate my nicknames right now. My nicknames are incredible, and I don't need you to judge me with those judgmental eyes. What building is this called? This is the Tourist Bureau. I'm making little notes for myself, guys. I can't show you because that would involve... Well, actually, I guess I could. I could pull the, the, the camera off my screen, but I won't. Got a clothing store here. Pew! Nebby wants to say hi. You looking for the ruins or are you looking for new clothes? Let's see. Let's ask if she's looking for new clothes. She says, well, yes, I was doing that too, but this little fellow would hardly sit still. I think Nebby might be interested in visiting the ruins of life. Apparently they house the sacred guardian of Akala Island, a creature called Tapu Lele. I wondered if you'd come with us when we go to visit the ruins. I mean, little Nebby here seems to quite like you, <laughs> like you quite a bit, Geo. Well, I like Nebby too because it's an awesome Pokemon and I want it on my roster. She's going to be in the hotel waiting for me. That's suggestive. <laughs> you can see the building. Lily, I got to be honest, you're talking quite a lot and you're still really rude to, to Nebby. See, I just want to play with Nebby. Nebby just hates being in the bag. It's so wrong. Don't put baby in a corner. That's all I gotta say. Don't put Nebby in a corner. Terrible people trying to steal Pokemon called Team Skull. Well, I'm not so worried about Team Skull. We're going to go into the store and see if they have any pants. These Capris have worn out their welcome. Hopefully the pricing of clothing doesn't scale ridiculously. Oh, looks like it does. These all just look like print tees. Got some cargo shorts here. Plain cargo shorts, black, green, blue, navy blue, purple, gray. Some striped shorts up there. I kind of like those sporty shorts, but uh, I'm gonna go with white. I like where I like the look of all white. I think it looks kind of cool. Penny loafers, all kind of ugly. And a sports cap. Doesn't really look any different. Horn rimmed glasses, no. All very ugly. Very hipstery clothes here. A new shirt. Any new shirt that's going to go with this better? The sludge tank's pretty cool, but.
Let's go with the Bone Keeper tank. Now let's not do that. I don't really want a polo with stars on it. Yeah, let's go with the Bone Keeper tank for now. I kind of like that. I like the look. Would you like to put on your latest purchases? Yes, I would. Yes, I very much would like to do that. This outfit kind of goes. Part of the reason I like it, the the rim of the cap is the same color as the uh, blue on the shirt, as you can see there. And the straps of my backpack are the same color as it also. The white on the tank matches the shorts. And then the black of the tank and the backpack and the hat all match. The shoes are blue, not teal, so they don't perfectly match. But the whole thing kind of goes because it matches my backpack pretty well. So... We're in Hia Hia City. And there's a lot going on in here. So that's uh, Route 4. More people want to talk to me. Stop right there. Uh, they didn't mean to surprise you. You must be doing your island challenge. I'm Dexio. And uh, Cena, Beautiful name for a beautiful lady. She's kind of full of herself, but... Uh, they're here seeing all the sights in Alola. It's a unique tradition. It's pretty fascinating. They gotta say, w what do you guys want? They want to battle. That's it? That's all you wanted? You just wanted to battle? Did you really need to do this whole thing where you talk yourself up first? Come on, Cena. She's got one of those headbands. No, that's never mind. That's just the, the underbra of a, of a clip. She's got a deli bird. I'm going to resist your one of your stabs. Yeah, let's just keep it with a water gun for now. Present. Great move. Great, great move. Deli Bird is a horrible Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> But looks so cool. I mean, just such a great idea. Glaceon. Let's switch. What do we got? Uh, Gruffers does not have a fire or does not have a rock type attack yet. So let's go to Peck Peck. Burb spam. I'm actually gonna hit him with a um, fighting type move. Not a flying type move. No burb spam here. Brick break. Come on and slam. Dang, Glaceon. Wow. <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll go back to the little P. If we must. Yeah, Glaceon's a fully evolved Mon, and it was the same level as that. That was probably not my wisest decision. I wasn't. I haven't really been paying attention to the levels. She's gonna be playing with my speed a little bit, my speed and my heart. My speed and my heart. Is she gonna drop a quick attack? You already lowered my speed, man. Come on. Cut me some slack here. Uh, I'm actually going to Aqua Jet here too, so you can either quick attack and fail to kill me, which is what you're going to opt to do, or go for a more powerful attack, get out sped and die anyway, so. She went for the right play, but she lost anyway. That was a lot of experience. She said something about Pokemon growing, and she was really upset. Why are all the trainers so upset when they lose here? They're like angry. Pardon the yawn, guys. Made up my mind. Important item. Giving me a Zygarde cube. Okay. Collecting cores and cells of a Pokemon Zygarde. Might not be a bad idea to go to Route 4 to train your Pokemon. Might not be. Might not be a bad idea at all. But for now, we're just gonna we're gonna finish up exploring this city. Can I still call Tauros? Yes, I can. Excellent. Is there anything else? You guys are just dancing for me. 
Is there anything else important going on here? If I come back this way... This is where the Pokemon Center is. I want to check out the Pokemon Center here. The cities are a lot bigger in this game than I'm used to. This is a tennis player. Uh, you, do you need anything? How about you? Get a little Murkrow. She's talking about TMs. Did I spend all my money right as I should have been buying TMs? I need Pokeballs also. I'm running low on those. Shoot. Reduces damage from physical and special moves, but it can only be used in a hailstorm. That's a very cool move. I'm imagining it doesn't stack with Reflect and Light Screen, otherwise that'd probably be broken. These are all very good. I'll come back here when I have more money. Uh, it's early game and I haven't gotten an amulet coin yet, so for now I have to be really wise with my money. Do this, get some Premier Balls. Shopping myself out of ugh. hearth and home or whatever. I'm not going to go to the cafe again because I still don't know what they do there. Like every single time I go, they give me some advice that's not very good advice. And that's kind of all they do. And I, I'm not I'm not feeling it until someone tells me otherwise. Whoa, this guy's riding a Stoutland? That's amazing. What? What What did he say? Real thorough kind and likes to uncover every last stone. Could you take another route until we have uncovered all the hidden items here? Hidden items? Okay, so I can't go that way. For whatever reason. This is just how they're gating. This is It's a good thing that they do this. So that means there's not really anything to do there. Route 4 is to the right over here, if I remember that correctly. And this is the hotel where we're meeting Lily. So let's go to the hotel. That'll mean we finished up in this city. There's another Corsola. It's a really nice hotel. There's got to be someone here that's got something for me, right? You. She's dan singing and dancing. No, she's just saying hi to the ho hotel. This is shiny. Ooh. Strange creature was sucked into the Zygarde cube. Cena wants to talk to you. Zzzt. Just received a signal from your Zygarde cube. Okay, so this girl is tracking me. And that's stalker status. And I'd like a restraining order, please. That's the Zygarde cell. The Zygarde cube I gave you is like a nest for cells and cores. Your mission is to collect all the cells and cores. We'll be in touch. Bona chance. This, I feel like this is going to be obnoxious, but that's fine. Hello and welcome to the hotel. You're not even going to offer me a room. There's a star me here. Beautiful. That person's saying something. I see that Lily's to the left, but I want to talk to everybody else first. Oh, Geo, I'm sorry. I saw some people who looked like Team Skull, and I got worried. He's trying to avoid them. Uh, so I guess we're... I guess if that's all we need to do is go to Route 4, then away we go. Away we go, and we will end this episode... Right as we're about to enter. This will be a good place to save our game and call it. So just kind of a little exploration there, a little shopping. Not a super important, uh, not a super important anything. Just kind of cleaning up, tying up loose ends. And uh, we'll head into Route 4 in the next episode. So hope to see you guys there. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.